some of us agree and truly believe that health care is a human right. Um, but I think we've missed an opportunity to create uh, basic fairness by not expanding Medi-Cal to cover all adults, especially our seniors. Um, this body supported SB 29 uh, to provide coverage to seniors. That's not included in AB 103. Undocumented seniors have lived and worked in California for decades, but they are left behind for a number of, of reasons. Seniors are forced to continue to work later in life, and yet they are still contributing to our economy. Um, and I've said this before, all Californians, including undocumented, pay taxes. They pay $3 billion in, in state and local taxes, and yet they're cut out from preventative and doctor, doctor visits. Seniors, undocumented seniors, make up only 30,000 individuals, only 30,000 in California. Um, it's a shame that we couldn't cover this small population uh, this year. 38,000 out of 3 million uninsured in the total in California. Our, continue, our communities are going to continue to fight for this until we cover and treat all Californians the same without any discrimination. Um, our seniors can't afford more delays for universal coverage. Every day, um, every day we wait means more expensive emergency room visits, especially as seniors. Um, and shorter lives for the people who deserve their dignity in their old age, older age. Um, I see that, that the creation, for me, the creation of a task force or the renaming of a task force is we're putting off this issue and we're putting it off for years to come. Um, I know that there's a, a date by July 1st of next year by which a report is expected, but that's after the budget is approved. Um, and who knows what will come in, into that report. So the way I see it is, here's a commission that we've asked to look into this, but this body has approved it. Um, and the administration and you know, wherever, however the decision is made to put it off into a commission, we're just kicking it down the road for several more years. That's, you know, that's a, a, a bureaucratic um, you know, tool to put things off. But to put this off for seniors who need this health care now is unconscionable. Um, I, I just, I, I don't understand why we couldn't cover 40,000 more individuals in a state that is so wealthy. We talk about how wealthy we are, how our economy is the fifth best in the world, and we couldn't include 40,000 seniors who need that coverage now. We treat all Californians the same when it comes to other life and death. There's no exclusion when first responders go to a fire, go to an emergency. They don't say, let me see your documents before I respond, before I take care of you. We don't do that when it comes to clean water. We just talked about that. And I'm sure that in those low income disadvantaged communities, there are a lot of undocumented. We don't do that, we don't exclude them. Most labor laws, um, um, safety on the job, we don't exclude and say, show me your papers before we'll enforce those laws and those rules. And why? Because it doesn't make sense for all Californians to exclude based on whether you're documented or not. We live together, we go to school together, we work together, we go to church together. Our kids go to school in the same schools. And because why? Because we all benefit from the inclusion. They're integrated, they're part of our communities, and to segregate them out some way, thinking that we're better off by doing that, just makes zero economic sense. So I'm deeply disturbed by putting this off, kicking the can down the road, and not thinking about those seniors and what they need today. They've contributed, they continue to contribute. It's just one very, very small piece in the number of uh, uninsured in the state. So I don't know how else to express my disbelief and um, um, 
you know, anger and emotion at them being excluded uh, through this bill.